What's going on guys, Disciple here, and today I'm bringing you guys my 300th video. Man, I can't believe I've already made 300 videos on YouTube, and um, I am so excited for this video today guys, and I also just hit a thousand subscribers, so what a better time to put out a video than on the day that I hit a thousand subscribers and my 300th video about the subject I'm going to talk to you guys about and before I do talk to you guys about this subject I wanted to give a big shout out to all these people that have made it possible and number one judgment awaits and I've been on your channel countless times and you really took me under your wing and you know allowed me to post on your channel and I really do thank you for that, as well as the Jesus Freak Kingdom Soldier. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for your continued support and helping me to grow and just become a better commentator, but not only a better commentator, a better person in general. Um, you guys are great leaders, and I really do appreciate you guys. Till I Collapse, Ocho Blanco, who else am I thinking? Who am I missing? His Holy Vessel, bud. I really enjoy the fellowship I have with you online as well. Clee Clark, Butterbean, Pat's fan, all these people. And you know, if I'm forgetting anybody, I'm really sorry. All of you in general have really helped me get to this point and helped me grow. I mean, without you guys, <laughs> this wouldn't be possible. And you know, I'm able to do what I love, but more importantly, what, what I like doing for other people and you know that's why I made this YouTube channel and I'm gonna go ahead and explain what's going on in this gameplay guys real quick before I get into the main topic for today so this is a 44 and 2 I believe chem strike and I'm using the VKS with ACOG and you're gonna notice and you probably already have noticed that I joined this game a little bit late and this team that I'm playing against they were very experienced compared to the Christmas noobs that I play and they're pretty much stomping on this other team so I had to kind of come up with a different play style that I normally do and just play a lot more tactically and it meant camping for me and um, it was very hard to get a chem strike against these against these guys especially on strike zones so I really do hope that this is something that you do enjoy and you see that I kind of moved out here because they knew I was in that building so I had to kind of make it make a different move a different direction because I didn't want to destroy my rhythm that I had so it took a little bit of, of chances and um, that's what I'm taking with this upload today guys I'm taking chances and so basically what I'm gonna talk about today is what does godly disciple mean and I've been wanting to talk about this for a while but I just wanted this to be a very special video and um, so I'm going to go ahead and go over why my name is Godly Disciple on YouTube. And basically, I used to have a YouTube account before, and it was not named Godly Disciple. And gaming was kind of like taking over a lot of my life. Those of you that don't know, here I'm a Christian. And it was taking over like a lot of the time that I spent with God and stuff like that. And I don't know, just relationships I, I kind of put it over a lot of other things and sometimes it does get in the way and I try not to let it get in the way but um I had quit doing YouTube on my other channel that I had before this for a good three or four months and I'd always come to the stage to where I wasn't spending enough time with God and I wasn't focusing my YouTube channel around God and that's what I've wanted to do and I just didn't know how to do it so finally I just you know one day I'm like okay well I want to get back into this gaming thing but I want to focus this channel on God not only on myself but on God and you know that's that's that and so I made a YouTube account called Godly Disciple and I had started posting and stuff and I was looking for other people that shared the same beliefs and interests as I did and I found Kingdom Soldier I found Judgment Awaits I found Jesus Freak found all those guys and it's just been a blessing it's been a good it's been a good eight or nine months now and um so basically what it means to be a godly disciple is a follower of christ 
Um, those of you that don't know what a disciple is, Jesus had his disciples back when he was on earth. He was sent from heaven to earth, and you know he was born on earth. And they um, basically what it takes to be a disciple is to. Jesus says in Matthew here to take up your cross and follow him. So I'm gonna go ahead and read from Matthew right now, Matthew 16:20 20 through 26. From the time Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed. So at this point, guys, he was talking to his disciples saying that he was going to die soon, that he was going to be crucified, and then he was going to rise from the dead th three days later, and, you know, he was going to be crucified. And so basically here in Matthew, it tells, Jesus says to his disciples, he says this, For you are not setting your mind on things of God, but on the things of man. So, because Peter was really upset, he's like, no, no, God, you know, I don't, this isn't going to happen to you. Don't say that, you know what I mean? And then Jesus tells his disciples right here, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world? And forfeits his soul or what shall a man give in return for his soul so basically guys the most self selfless thing that God did is to give his life for us on the cross and Jesus is saying if you're gonna be my disciple Chris you need to bear your cross and follow me because in doing this guys we are most satisfied we're gonna go through a lot of trials and tribulations in this world the Bible promises it and I mean there's just evidence of it in everyday life when ever have you guys had a bad day in life something just crappy has happened to you or to someone you know it's going to happen and being a Christian is not easy guys it means following God to the absolute best of your ability and not partaking in things of this world, you know, not partaking in going against God's commandments all the time. And, you know, no one's going to be perfect in this world. And, you know, it's just, it's crazy to think that I get this opportunity to share the gospel with you guys. And if you guys want to know more about what being Christian is all about, I really would love to talk to you. I have a bunch of guys here they would love to talk to you as well and we also started a youtube channel called sacred you guys really need to go check that out it's awesome so i mean i hope you guys did enjoy this commentary today and i hope i, I didn't fly a completely off topic but this was a really um awesome video for me to make today and i was just really happy overall with everything and god is good and you're gonna read a message here right after this game right here it's gonna say that i was cheating so <laughs> definitely wasn't cheating but um you know, it is what it is, right? I just want to thank you guys so much again for all your continued support on my videos. And um, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless you.